I start on a fresh level 3 account and my goal is to make 10 billion GP as fast as possible starting from scratch. Previously I went 50 defense to use a new Valamor, Blue Moon and Eclipse armors PK and over 500 mil to end in a 1.7 build bank. I will build this account into a range tank, 75 defense and 77 prayer for Dragonfire Ward, Augury and Rigor to bring me to 103 combat so I can unlock Elite Void. The damage is going to be incredible but the risk is going to be so high. 70 defense, let's finish everything else before we're getting 75. I decide to buy some better bones because time is money but that's 27 mil for 77 prayer there. 77 prayer. I can now unlock Augury and Rigor. With this 30 mil for the scrolls, that's a 57 mil investment for prayer. These two prayers are absolutely massive for the account. Just Augury's extra mage defense is going to secure so many kills. That's the easy western provinces done, I need the hard diary for Elite Void. My bank is currently full so I'm going to pay 18 mil for another 160 slots. Medium diary complete, I believe this will make the remaining chompy kills quicker. 300 chompy kills, this is not the funnest grind but the Elite Void set will make this all worth it. I didn't actually realise I need to grow a palm tree and it takes 16 hours to grow so that's a bit awkward, I'm just going to come back to it. Technically I don't need party for this current build but 50k defence XP is quite helpful. Look at that XP coming in. Piety unlocked. 75 defense and 103 combat. 98 hit points to finish off the stats of a really nice range tank build. The tree has finally grown and I've completed the hard western provinces diary. Let's get this elite void. I've already got the points as well. Elite void complete. I'm now finally ready to PK. 178 mil. This is going to be such an expensive setup. Just looking at this, I can already tell the major and range damage is going to be mental. With such power, it does come with over 200 mil risk. This is the most I've risked by more than double. Oh, I've halved him, but I do have more KO potential with the Volatile now. Oh, 14. He could have easily died. I can max a 75 Volatile. What? He risked to try and void wake him and he died to a ball. I didn't even have my anguish on there. 36.8 mil as the first kill of this episode. What is this? This is exactly what I want to see. Yeah, 16. I do think Volatile ain't that great, but I'm eventually going to get some nice KOs with it. He is panicking so hard right now. It's brutal when I get into something like this. I should be winning most of these 50-50s as I've got Augury and I did. Let's go. And he is dead. He's only 87 HP. That was a very easy void kill. This account is just way too strong. 22.6 mil from a voider. What a perfect kill. That's the second kill and we're only an hour into PKing. Okay, that speed drops fucking stinks. Oh, it's a 72. Okay, never mind. I'm wrong. I'm fucking wrong. 8.3 mil. He had still had seven brews, but he had no combo food. What? Why is he on the bottom? I don't get that. Oh, and he died anyway. He died to the 75. That was the most scuffed kill I've ever got, but he's on the floor anyway. 17.5 mil. That is a... Big voider kill. Some of you guys wanted to see the kill and death ratio. Three deaths are from the 10k rev challenge with my highest being a 6 mil death. And four in multi doing a wilderness slayer on stream. I don't want to jinx myself but thankfully I still haven't died in proper gear yet. This looks like a really tough fight. It's a max 109 med level with full crystal, vertus legs, all that type of shit. Ancient God Sword. I'm guessing he's also got a void waker because he's camping at DFS. He's got so much risk. Oh, I needed that. A 45. Outlasting this is tough. A 38. I'm bringing it back. And I splashed a full TV, of course. That is perfect. He pre switched an elastic, so he's full TB'd. That's a, that's a 42. Volatile on prayer. He's panicking. He thinks he's got the escape. There's no way. Yes, I can actually kill this. He's got to be out of food. I'm nearly 600 damage. Come on. Hit. Hit. I have a full freeze to do enough damage. No! Oh my god! Venom as well! 9 HP escape! He had like, what, 300 mil risk? Oh, oh my god. That is so unlucky. If you want to check out intense fights like that live, come to kick.com slash Reese. I stream nearly every day. Oh my god, 49 to start it off. I can tell. 
that this guy's going to die because he's got such low defense. I remember PKing with this and the range defense is horrible. I'm going to range him so often. That is such a clutch freeze. He's just camping. Rogue is panicking. Look at that XP drop. Holy shit. 51. 34. The volatile lets me down so often, but he should be dying. It does not tie seeing these type of bolts. The fucking risk is definitely worth it. A 49 there. He's getting demolished still. A 46 with Mage. And he is dead there into a 44. The DPS was just crazy. He was camping rogues though. 20 mil kill. That is all the new armor. It's what a fucking kill. A full blue moon fella. You just got the proc, but I'm away from him. A 47 already. The bolts are going to demolish this guy. 40 being him as well. I don't know what other armor he's got. He's just camping rogues right now. He has eclipse armor. I am so confident I can kill this then. Even though he's a main, I can still kill this easily. A 62 bolt, surely he's dead. I am having so much fun seeing these high bolts though. This gear was 100% worth it. Oh, it's on prayer, but he's definitely low on combo food, surely. Oh, there we go. He dies to the bolt. He was struggling from the start of the fight. That's another full Valmor set PK'd. He still had a Bruna half left, so that was a good KO. Fighting a Void on an account like this is just brutal. He stands no chance. That's even forget about the extra gear and wrist that I've got. He's honestly not doing bad with his prayers, but he's dead. He prayed that right as well. They're still at 37. He just can't do anything. I feel bad. But I decided to stand south because if he freezes me and runs north, then I will get him frozen. Oh my god. Oh, bro. And he's dead. If I didn't eat, I would have died. I would have literally died for over 200 mil if I didn't drink that brew right there. 10.4 mil. I need to make sure I don't get complacent and die to something stupid like that. He's full, but I can only hit him for one level. I might just run north and see if he follows. This seems like a bad idea, but overconfidence has got me a lot of kills this series, so I guess we'll see how it goes. Oh, he hit a zero ancient god sword. That's really good. But that also shows... Oh, he hit with the next one. That shows that he's probably going to have a light bear and he's going to get the spec back so quickly. That's a nice volatile. A 49. He could have died there. If you guys are wondering, the bottom number of this track is how much damage each person has done. So currently I'm up 160. I'm doing well to win this right now, but he's going to get two specs back soon, that light bearer. I know he has one. The reason why it's so bad is if he hits with both of them, that's literally 100 damage differential right there. Oh, that is so bad. Dude, literally all my fucking advantages are just gone. He's destroying me. I might actually die here. Oh, he hit with the other one. I am out of food. Fully out of food right now. This is not good. Catch the freeze. I'm splashing so much. Oh my god. 40, well, 32 HP out of food. That could have been so bad. Over 200 mil risk there. I want to have even higher range offense, so I'm going to have as a sampler. So let's get 200 quest points and complete Dragon Slayer 2. Dream meant to complete as I reach 200 quest points for Dragon Slayer 2. That is perfect. Dragon Slayer 2 complete. Let's get that super avas. I had to do the full 50kc for that Vorkaf head. This is going to make my already incredible DPS even better. Look at that, a 45 bolt first bolt. I am feeling so much stronger now with the Avas Assembler and Buckler. I'm so happy with my gear, but I want to get some nice volatile KOs, but it just isn't great. I don't hit very big numbers on it. And he is dead. Some of this defense bonus just doesn't stand their chance. He needs at least a tank shield. Oh, he had an Abbey Dagger. I'll take that, 13.1 mil. Oh, now he prays mage and a hit. That was three splashes that could have been a fall. Another splash. It just doesn't hit that often. You might have combo it anyway, so I don't know if that's a chance. Oh my god, what a KO. That was beautiful. He couldn't actually teleport because he specs me. I timed that immaculately. Let me explain this kill to you. His TB is currently up and he's trying to void awaken me. And my spec is about to come back. So I run the certain amount of distance where I get the spec back as he specs me. So he cannot teleport anymore and KO him. 53 mil, what a kill. I think it's my first fan kill as well. 
I'm pretty sure this is an HK, but the thing is with HK, as we all know, you just aren't that good. That's where they're cheating. Oh, that's what I want to see, that type of XP drop. A 68 with the Volatile. Beautiful. No, we might have that. Yes. Oh, goodbye, HK. It feels so good to kill someone like this. 20 million GP from that cheater. Oh, that's a beautiful thing about a Volatile. Because I'm frozen away, he does not expect it. He's like, what? How the fuck? The Volatile has been so fun to use, but the accuracy has let me down in so many occasions. But in cases like that, it is so good. 21 mil. He had an Archer's Ring. Alright, this is going to be a fucking hard fight. He's got legit complete max. I can kill this, though, if I KO it, I think. Outlasting is not going to happen. No way! No way! I need to hit a 66! He was risking so much! There's no fucking way he has not died there. There's no way. Remember, if you are liking this series, then please do subscribe. Fifty-one max it is ZCB spec after a forty-six. That is just dirty. Cheeky twelve mil voider. Oh, what the? Where the fuck did that come from? A 57 ball KO and a rage tag. 24.8 mil. I have peaked an insane amount of money this video. Today, the Wilderness Agility course got a massive buff, increasing his experience where he can now make 2 mil an hour. It's such a dangerous place to PK as the entrance and the plank stall is all multi combat. However, inside the agility course is all single. PKN is quite tough to do here, but generally speaking, it's such a sick update to see the agility course thriving. Oh, Tom. What is he doing? Oh, he wants to battle. Okay. Wait. He must have already been lowered by that guy, surely. At least, like, uh, maybe a bro. His HP is quite low. Okay, there goes my 75 HP lead. It's 100% gone. This could be tricky. I'm hoping that person that attacked him before me has done a lot of damage. Because if he hasn't, I'm probably dead. Oh, he's running. That's a very good sign. He's dead. <laughs> I killed the engineer. <laughs> Bro, I thought I was going to die. I'm on two bruises left. Sit the fuck down, Tom. Sit down. <laughs> 41.7 mil kill on Cinjaneer. That is funny. I could have easily died there as well. This may be a tough fight, but if I get a kill like this, I'll be so happy. I need this Ancient Godsword to hit. He's trying to escape, I'm pretty sure. It is a 22, but he's still eating after so much damage. I am worried. I'm fully out of bruise, but I'm up 130 damage. I'm going to commit to the fight. Okay, I hit and he is splashed. How is he still eating? I don't get it. He's panicking. No way. He can just walk the plank. He's got friends to help him. I cannot follow. Oh my god. After all of that, he just fucking does that and escapes. Bro, the Debo's are scaring me. That guy's wearing a Debo. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. I'm, I'm so dead. I'm so fucking dead. It's unreal. That was such a dumb idea. And I got smited as well from Age and Godsword. That was not my smartest move. That's the first big death of this series and it was in multi. It was such a bad idea. That's 76 mil down the drain. My bank is looking so good right now. Nearly 22% of the way towards that 10 mil goal. 726 mil was PK just in this video. 567 mil loot tab. The cash stack is going to look so nice. 839 mil cash stack. I am looking so rich right now. This was such a fun video being a range tank, but it's time to get my strength level up and use one of the strongest weapons in the game.